All right, so this question here is a good review, right? For serotonin, we've got how many grams of serotonin are represented in 1.81 e to the 18 molecules of serotonin, given that carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, nitrogen is 14, oxygen is 16, right? So step one, find the molar mass. So got 10 carbons times 12. We added all those together. Um, but the same thing for hydrogen. There we go. The same thing for hydrogen and nitrogen and oxygen to get approximately 176.22 grams per mole um, for our molar mass. So what do we do? What would be the next step after we get the molar mass of serotonin? All right, we wanna do something with molecules. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? We've got molecules, so to map this out, right? We wanna go from molecules to moles, right? Once I do that, I can go from moles to mass using the molar mass. So step one, I've got 1.81 E to the 18 molecules. Avogadro's number hasn't gone away, right? And we know for every one, um, for every one mole, I'm going to have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. I'll clean that up a little bit here. So yeah, we divide by Avogadro's number and that should give us moles of serotonin. So 6.02. So we're going to divide that by 6.02. So 1.81 e to the 18 divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Right, and we get approximately 3.007 times 10 to the minus six moles of serotonin. Step two, now we can bring in our molar mass because, all right, I've got 3.007 times 10 to the minus six moles of serotonin. And I know my molar mass tells me for every one mole, of serotonin, I have to have 176.22 grams of serotonin. So we're gonna multiply by my molar mass. So times 176.22, all right? And we get approximately um, 5.30 times 10 to the minus four grams of serotonin. Three significant figures because we've got three significant figures in 1.81 e to the 18. So that's why um, I would report that to three significant figures, right? It came out to be like 5.298. We're going to drop the eight and round that up to 5.30 times 10 to the minus four for that question. So any questions on that? All right, it should be good going both ways, right? If I said how many grams uh, or how many you know, moles or molecules of serotonin do you have in that many grams? You should be comfortable going the opposite direction as well, going grams to moles and then moles um, to molecules using Avogadro's number as well.